Hi YouTube, it's Fish Fingers here. The tank's been settling down now for a week. The temperature's great, ideal, ready for my rock and my sand to go in. Temperature's about 24 degrees roughly. As you can see there's a nice bit of movement on the water from the pump, that's doing really well. And the salinity is slightly high, but not too bad. So I'm going to put some sand in now and I'm going to put some live rock in. Now obviously as I do that, the tank's going to get murky. So you're not going to be able to see a lot. I'll record the first bit of sand going in. Then I'll put the rest of the sand in. And then I'll record a bit of the live rock going in. And then I'll wait at the end for a little bit for it to settle. And I'll do a little video recording so that you can see how the clownfish diary is going on. As yet, still no clownfish. Uh, I've told the, the guy at the local um, aquarium shop, Gareth, I've told him which fish I intend to put in there, which is the maroon with the gold band. Um, clownfish, two of them ideally. So they should be coming in in about a month's time hopefully. Uh, in between then I need to make sure the tank's nice and stable. Uh, I'll probably be putting a, a couple of crabs in there maybe in a week or two's time. Maybe the odd shrimp uh, and just see how they do in there. So I'm going to start putting the sand in now. Right so there's probably a million different ways that you can put sand into a tank and I'm more than happy to hear how you guys have done it. It was recommended to me to, to use a little jug, maybe, to put the sand in and gradually put it into the water. Obviously you can just throw it in there if you want, it's going to make it a bit murky, but it'll soon settle down. What I've decided to do is to put the tank, the, the whole bag with the live sand into the tank and then I'm going to cut it and just empty it out slowly and see how that goes. So here goes nothing. So I've made some incisions now on the bag. Incisions, that sounds like a medical term, doesn't it? But anyway. So the sun should be able to come out easily now. And I lift the bag up. As you can see, it's quite murky, but it's not too bad. There you go, most of, most of the sand's out of the bag now. And the bag's floated to the top. So there you go, I'm just going to put the other bag in, and then I'll start recording again then. OK, so it's been standing there around about 10 minutes, it's settled slightly. I'm going to start putting the live rock in now. And although I'm not exactly going to position it just where I want it, I just want it in the tank, just to help the flow of the water uh, and see how it affects the layer of the sand. So here goes the first piece. All in all today I'll be putting 4 kilos in. This is a nice big chunk, lots of brown and creamy colours on it. Put that bottom left of the tank for now. I will be moving all these round once it's settled and I can choose exactly where I want it and what cliff. Well look at that. Doesn't it look like a weird kind of little alien world? with a crazy kind of atmosphere. Yeah, so what I've done is with the, the live rock, I've stacked it up on the right. It, it looked like the pump was belting around the tank and moving the water at such a rate that it kept shifting all my sand to the right of the tank. So uh, positive to that is it looks like I probably won't need a, a wave maker. Um, but obviously I don't want the sand moving all the way over the tank all the time. So I've stacked the rocks up near the pump to try and just break that uh, the power of the pump up a little bit. Obviously I've got about another three or four kilos of rock to put in there so I can gradually come down from the shape that I've got now move it down to the to the bottom left of the tank and that should look pretty cool. 
Uh, obviously, my lights on, the hoods back on now. Uh, it, it looks like a, a little kind of crazy alien world. I think there rocks all over the place and the sand's moving. So it's quite funky. That is. I'll I'll give it a recording in in twenty minutes, half an hour. Once the sand has settled down properly, and hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit clearer. Okay, so as you can see now, <laughs> it didn't actually take 10 minutes or even half an hour to clear. It's actually taken about 5 hours uh, to get to the clarity it's at now. It's still a little bit misty in there. The sand is still settling. So I've made like to the right, I've made a bit of a cave kind of thing. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, and it also goes up around the pump a little bit to, to stop the pump blowing so hard. If you look at the bottom left of the tank, you can see how the pump has blown the water around and it's taken some of the sand from the bottom left, um, which doesn't particularly look too good. So when I get some other pieces of rock, I'll put them on the left there and that should stop that happening. But um, yep, so that's the end of my diary after week two of my tank being up and running so tune in next friday and see how things look and see what progress has been made thanks guys